Yeah, there I am. Damn it. Ha! Shit. That's out of the book. That's out of the book. Uh, I used some of that in uh, Death is the Title, or I slept on the porch. It was a hell of a night. Those girls took me on and got me drunk. Hell. Stephanie was her name. Stephanie. And, uh, no, it was Amanda Stevens. That, was that her name? Yeah. There's my uh, front yard fire, the one I got away with before the cops came. And somebody did stop by and talk to me for a while, you know. Because that's my theory that, uh, you know, you want to get friends, you start a fire in the front yard. You know, out in the country, out in the country, that's how you get people be friends, you know, stand by the fire. Here in the urban life, you know, fireplaces, the TV, everybody stays inside and watches TV. That's all I do, stay inside and watch goddamn TV, get full of fear and stupidity, that's all it is, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I had it figured out just right. I'm going to burn that just till I had the hose out and everything. I had it burning till the, till the, till the cops came. Had it out. Just as the, the smoke got me. Oh, yeah, it's done now. <laughs> yeah, I talked about this girl before. She'd done some modeling. She did some modeling. I was, I don't know, unemployment days. I was still drinking, you know. <laughs> going all to hell anyway, and then uh, ended up working with Sid until I couldn't move, crying, dying, coming in the house. Just fucking wrecked, boy. The pain was incredible. She's got some hellacious tattoos back there, doesn't she? You're going to be looking at that <laughs> only having sex. I mean, that's what that's all about. She's made herself kind of, you know, look like uh, she's you know, gonna be entertaining. <laughs> Skinny. Skin. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> oh, boy. I got things to think about. I'm not, you know. Come on now. It's uh it's a life, you know. It's a life. And a big train after that. Well, we could put that together as a, some kind of psychological stuff, you know, big train after sexy pictures in a way, you know, over the shoulder. That was the best uh, angle for that part of her body, you know. You got to know how to do it. That's, uh, you know, train's been around and get, you've get nostalgic about it, but nostalgia sounds like neuralgia, you know. And uh, clouds, and then there was a drought, you know. North Carolina is the greatest real estate in the world right now, a lot of ways. I mean, you know, the 25% of the population is poor. Living in poverty, food insecurity is unbelievable. Unbelievable, really. So there's the storm clouds ahead. Because it can't go on like this forever. I mean, people are going to break. they going to figure it out. It's not conscious. It's not conscious trained up to be docile by Billy Graham saying, questioning your employer is like insulting God or something. I mean, he had some way of saying it was against God to to say a word about, hey, how come you're getting, you know, I need some money. I can't live on this kind of pay. What are you talking about? Go back to your trailer and shut up. You were born to be this. It's like peasants, you know. Peasants and the peasantry. And the, uh, it took a hundred years for the peasants to rebel after they were screwed in Russia by the 
whatever revolution, industrial revolution, the way it moved out and put them all in the cities, you know, where they didn't have any means to support themselves and never got the money. That's the ugliest damn thing. I made that. The birds loved it, but it kind of rotted. That was years after I built that house with that woman. My brother told me not to trust her. She'd promised me. Then she's saying, it promised me sweat equity in this house, you know. And then, there it is in the background. A beautiful thing. I got, they got a lot of people. I couldn't afford to buy it. I didn't have enough friends. Friends, you know, we shouldn't have, I shouldn't have kept all of the secrets and try to protect protect my art of film teacher. I mean, you know, you're going out with your high school teacher. She's going to lose her job. She gets caught. And I made sure she didn't get caught on my account. But that was a way. I kind of lost friends in that orbit. I got mad at one of my good friends for blabbing around on it with it. The other girl explaining why I dumped her and he was going with her and they were jamming around the pool. We'd go to the pool. She had a swimming pool. It was like that song. You know. Halloween. Every day is trick or treat when my brother said. I love my brother but he hates me now. I don't know why exactly. Fuck it. You know. I've lost lots of friends. I can lose a brother too. And they're gonna die anyway. You know, I'm gonna die anyway. I was joking around with the uh, doctor, the rheumatologist, yesterday, and uh, saying, "You think I'll get ten years?" You know, and uh, he said, "Well, you know, you got your fighter, and you got good humor. You might be able to get ten years more. I mean, you know, but you got a lot going on," is what he said. I was like. I want to come home and take the Viagra, you know, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it made me feel kind of funny, you know, like, 20 years go by in the blink of an eye, I know all about it.